Hey, what's up, Blender users? I'm Jonathan, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to quickly create human models to fill your renders. And the best thing, they actually look pretty good, considering that they only take a few minutes to create. We will go over the process of creating the model using a newly released paper by the Facebook research team, a quick and dirty texturing trick, and an automated method of rigging and animating our character. So, with that said, let's get started. Oh, and by the way, if you enjoy my content, consider subscribing, because I upload a new video every Saturday. So, why is this new method so awesome? I mean, there are hundreds of free human models out there. Well, this new paper reconstructs the body of a single input image, which means you can technically use it as an alternative for photo scanning a human. But again, this means we will need an image. So, I just quickly went on Google and searched for human reference images. These work especially great because all the legs and arms are separated and we actually have different images for different parts of the body, which means we can easily texture our final output. So let's right click and save our image. Next, you want to go to the video description and click on the first link. This will lead you to this GitHub page. Now you can see that you could download this GitHub and set it up locally on your PC. But this is not what we're going to do today, because we will just click open and collab. This will now launch a new Colab project. Right now we can't use it, because this is hosted online and not on our Google Drive. So let's select Copy to Drive. Once that's done, you can switch to the Files tab right here. Now let's start by cloning the repository. So search for the git clone command and hit this Run icon. This will create a new folder right here. You can open it and under the sample images we want to upload our own image. So, you can see that I have already cropped the image, so only the front part is shown. And now, we can just drag and drop this image into the sample images folder. Click OK and wait till it's done. Once it's uploaded, you can right click on the file, copy path, and paste it into your image path variable. And next, select runtime, run all. This will now take a few minutes. Okay, everything is finished and we can preview our final model in this little video. We can just hit play and you can see that on the left side we have our input image and on the right side a turntable view of our model. You can see that this is not perfect because this image was pretty low res and also the contrast isn't that high between the person and the background. So you can see that his right hand is cut off, but I think we can still work with this. To download the model, you just have to have a look in the results folder under Final and Recon, there is an OBJ file, which you can just select and download. Now, let's open this file in Blender. Just delete everything, File, Import in OBJ, and there's our model. We can already start by just placing it on the ground, and then going to Object, Set Origin, Origin to 3D Cursor. Now our model stands right here. We can also see with the measure tool that the height is correct, which is a nice bonus. Now, you can see that this whole model consists out of irregular triangles. This is not the best case scenario, so let's remesh our model. For this, we can just quickly go into the sculpt mode and with Shift R adjust our grid to something like this. And now with Ctrl R remesh our model, just like this. We can now exit sculpt mode and shade it smooth. Awesome. But how do we texture it? Well, the texturing process is actually pretty easy. And because we're going to do it quick and dirty, this should not be used as a foreground element. Let's quickly go into edit mode, select everything, press U and smart UV project. This will now give us our final UVs. So let's go into the object data properties. Under UV maps, let's rename this UV map to base. Let's open a new window, the UV editor, and load in our input image. We can now go into front view and create a new UV map. This is going to be front. Go into edit mode, press U and project from view. We now get this UV map. Just slide it over till it covers our first image and scale it into place. Just like this. And now let's repeat this for the back and left and right. We only have one side of our character, but this is okay, we can just invert our right UV map. So let's add in another UV map, press Ctrl and 1 to go to the back side, U, project from view, and align it with the back of our character. This doesn't have to be that great, because again, this will not be used as a foreground element. Let's go with 3 to the left side, 
you project from view and align it with his left side in the image and do the same with the right side. But now we just have to scale it by negative one on the x-axis. Awesome. Now we can start the texturing process. In the texture paint workspace, we can just add a new window for the shader editor and create a new image texture node. Now let's press new and create a, for example, 2K texture. We can now select the newly created texture right here and this will be our final image texture. Now let's select the clone brush tool in the T panel and also select the single image mode. We can now choose our texture and enable clone from paint slot. Select our image texture and select the front UV map. We can now project the image from the front onto this model, just like this. And I think you now know what to do. We can just, for example, switch to the back and project the back. And the same goes for all the other sides. Of course, in a lot of areas this will not look good, but again, this is just a background prop. So let's save our image and connect it to our principal BSDF shader so we can preview it in the material preview mode. Great, so let's go over to the final step, which is the rigging process. For this, we will just use the Mixima website. So go to file, export and export the model as an FBX file. Once you're in Mixima, you can press upload character and select your FBX file. Once our model is loaded in, we can click on next. This will open their auto rigger program. We will uncheck use symmetry because our model just doesn't have perfect symmetry and place all the points and now click on next. This step will take a few minutes. Sadly, with the character we just created, the auto rigger wouldn't work because the one hand was disconnected. But for example, with this model I created earlier, it works completely fine and we can just assign every animation we want. And after you've done this, you can just go to download and download your character with the animation baked in. Okay, I hope this tutorial was helpful. I hope you learned something. And if you did, consider liking and subscribing. And we will see us next Saturday in the next video.